We are Project 13, Power Optimized Computer Labs, Rural Africa. Uh, we are working with WiderNet, which is a nonprofit based out of UNC, and their uh, project eGranary, which brings over 35 million resources to a uh, uh, dedicated server and making sure that everybody gets educational resources. The people who run that uh, corporation for our sponsors are uh, Cliff Misson and with electrical uh, lead Norman Perron. And we also have our mentor, Bobby Compton. As far as teammates, I am Taylor Hill. My role, uh, I was on the mechanical and the uh, electrical part of this project in conjunction with Nicolette Alston. She was working on uh, circuit protection and uh, thermal dissipation. Uh, Kanishka, he was working on the PCB uh, build, fabrication, and design. And our uh, teammate, Michael Chitty, was working on the MCU microcontroller um, coding, making sure that everything worked in conjunction with the electrical aspect. So when it comes to rural places like Africa where we want to bring these educational resources where they don't typically have a dedicated classroom, uh, the power is the main problem. You have a lot of uh, educational resources on the internet and on using tablets and such these days. Uh, the problem is that these classrooms do not get that dedicated power. So what our system does basically is it pulls power off the grid or utility, uh, what you plug into your wall when they need it to power uh, projectors, servers, tablets, phones. and and when it's not there, it uh, liplessly switches to a battery, making sure we don't have any power cut out at all, and uh, continuously powers the uh, classroom all day until the lesson's over. So let's say that there was power coming in, and uh, it loses power, and it has to switch over to that battery. What would happen then is we're getting regulated grid power, or what's coming from your wall, converted to what we call direct current uh, into this system. Now when the uh, grid power loses it, we have what these things called smart switches, which have capacitors which basically hold power and uh, switch over to the battery using uh, these very small switches called MOSFETs. This switching is very fast, but to make sure there's no power dropout, we have uh, capacitors that hold that charge while it's switching, so no matter what, we're going to have power coming to the system and it's going to regulate it down to the battery, making sure that the battery is then providing power and letting there just be continuous class teaching no matter what. We actually had a couple challenges with this project. One was the thermal aspect. We had to make sure that our uh, uh, power supplies were not overheating, making sure that under the harshest conditions in uh, hot parts of Africa, uh, they weren't going to overheat and damage our system. and therefore not let the classroom be able to use the electronic components and charging that we want it to. And so uh, we had to look at that aspect, attack it uh, for a cooling aspect, make sure that there was no uh, outside environmental things that got in there, making sure there wasn't dust or dirt that would affect our uh, system, as well as the integration of our subsystems, making sure that our power supplies worked in conjunction with our switches, which worked with the brains of the microcontroller, making sure that that automation was there for an easy user uh, ap uh, applications and setup. We've learned a lot about how these electronic components work together. Uh, we learned a lot about the mechanical aspect when it comes to, say, like your computer. You, you hear fans, you see filters, but really what does it mean and how do they work? We, we got to learn a lot about that as well.